while the Bronx was burning, no one was announcing Bushwick was burning. Burnt cars, fucked up buildings, needles on the floor. Here was a neighborhood on the brink. When Joe started bringing the international artists here, it was like the neighborhood kind of woke up and became alive. Joe's just a good dude. He's like a neighborhood kid. I got a story for you. Now we go, bro. You ready? He was one of the many people that didn't like something about the neighborhood and decided to make a change. Everybody in this zip code, everybody in this map, that's what it's about. My name's Paul Lindahl. I'm the co-founder of Colossal Media. Now that the rich kids move in, it's time to put some advertisements up because they're profitable. You took in Williamsburg, you take in the city, and now you take in here. These advertisers come and basically reap the financial benefits of the groundwork that he's laid. It's pretty disgusting. This ain't what it is. This ain't, none of this is Bushwick. There's people in Bushwick that are not happy with the artist movement that's happening because they think it doesn't reflect their traditions or their culture or their history. Even the neighborhood was burnt out buildings. Those people still were there living, dying, you know, building lives. They still have a right to have a say as to how that community evolves. I think that right has been removed. What he's doing out there is a lot of the reason that our clients want to be in Bushwick. It's something beautiful that we've found. We are in business to make money. I don't want to be like defensive, but like there's more of that to come. Clean it off, dust it off. It's ours. We're growing rapidly. We're planning on tripling the size of the company in the next five years. We're fighting for survival. We want to survive. Yeah.